Hi everybody, this is Jeff and uh, in this video I want to show you how to very easily set up a spread in Trader Workstation on the Option Trader panel. But first of all, before I even do that, I've gotten a couple of questions about how to get this particular item right here, the Option Spread um, menu selection up here, this icon and I found a really easy way to do it today and I'm going to show you. First go to your main trading window go to configure and select the feature selector and when you get there you'll probably have some boxes that are checked and some that are unchecked and what you should do is just uncheck the features box period and then recheck it again which basically turns on all features and I don't know why interactive brokers turns off certain features it says you don't use this feature so we want to turn it off well I don't know why they do that but they do that so turn them all on and keep them all on whenever it, it might prompt you about whether or not you want to keep uh, features that you're not using just click OK and then on the option option trader you should have this option spread selection here so all right, um, what do we want to do? We want to open some sort of spread trade on something. Well, guess what happened today? Sears announced their earnings. It wasn't pretty, folks. You can see it sitting down here at 65.29 right now. And let's say that you don't think it's going to go below 65 between today and tomorrow at the close of trading. So you could do a really short-term trade open up the uh, option trader panel and let's add a new tab and we'll make it Sears SHLD and our chain is populated down here and you can see that our 65 and 60 puts when we're gonna basically say that we don't think this is gonna go below 65 between now and 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon right now it's at 6528 um, chances are pretty slim I would think I think this is a pretty good trade actually especially uh, um, considering the amount of money that you're going to make on it so let's set it up we open up the option spread we select generic now here's the easy part all you do is just click on the symbol and this is for the 65 put and drag it up to here and click on this symbol down here for the 60 put and drag it up there. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually sell the 65. I always have to recheck myself because I always get a little bit confused on these two. And just click OK. Comes up with your um, contract description and to buy one combo means to sell the 65 put and to buy the 60 put. We'll just click OK and let's drag this down a little bit here so we can see what we have here so basically what we're doing here is uh, if we sell this combo which means we would get the ask price it would it's a minus number so that means it's in a credit to your account so go ahead and click on that and uh, you're gonna put five hundred dollars at risk to make seventy dollars that's a pretty good deal that's about fourteen percent between now and tomorrow um, since this is my simulated account and I have a lot of uh, money in there I'm going to do 10 of these and that will put $700 into my account immediately and if it closes tomorrow above 65 I get to keep that money so we go ahead and transmit the order I already reset that but anyway um, I have a limit of uh, 5 and I get this warning if I have anything more than five and I guess that's okay I just click yes I really do want to do this order eventually it will um, submit of course being a simulated trading platform it's really slow um, in a live real live account it would be pretty fast but that's it that's how easy it is uh, have any questions leave a comment
on my blog, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks, and have a good day.